Welcome to the The Generation Podcast, an audio resource dedicated to a generation of young people who are committed to total surrender to God and total dependence on His power to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. This podcast is designed to strengthen and encourage through a series of Bible-based practical talks. In this podcast, we follow Dr. Jim Van Gelderen to Kenya, Africa for a special interview with missionary Brent Halstead. Listen as Pastor Halstead explains his ministry in Nairobi and then challenges us with key steps to leading your friends to follow Jesus. This is evangelist Jim Van Gelderen. And for this podcast, I happen to be broadcasting from Kenya in uh, the eastern part of Africa. I have with me uh, missionary Brent Halstead. I've been here working in Independent Baptist College of Ministry, which is a Bible college right in Nairobi, Kenya. And certainly been, been exciting to work with the young people here. I've asked Brother Halstead to start. Perhaps he can say just a word about his um, ministry here. And then I've asked him to share uh, a burden on his heart uh, for you here in this new 2018. So Brother Halstead, it's good to have you here on the The Generation podcast. And we have young people literally around the world that are listening. And uh, why don't you tell a little bit about yourself, what you're doing here in Kenya. And then uh, as you uh, finish up, uh, why don't you just give a challenge to them about uh, their walk with God? Thank you, Dr. Jim. Uh, Good to to talk to everyone, and we're excited to be able to have a part in your life as you listen on this podcast. I came to Kenya 11 years ago and have been working with a team of five other missionary families as we seek to reach uh, Nairobi metropolitan area and uh, all of Kenya with the gospel. Uh, Nairobi is a city of about uh, four and a half million people. And the country of Kenya has about 45 million people population. We work with uh, 33 different churches. Uh, Most of them have national pastors, but we are able to uh, encourage them, preach in the churches, and to help them to accomplish all that God has for them. My main ministry is as uh, executive director of Independent Baptist College of Ministry, uh, a Bible college to train Uh, national leaders of our churches uh, to function in a developing country and to be able to meet the needs, uh, spiritual needs of people uh, as they progress into a fully developed nation. Our college has about 35 students. We offer a one-year certificate in Bible training, a four-year Bachelor of Arts degree, and uh, a Master's of Arts degree in theology. And the Lord has been blessing in that ministry. And uh, we are beginning our 10th year in the Bible College. And uh, we have trained 42 graduates, but, and we have also started seven nat- new churches uh, in that uh, nine-year period. I want to tell you a little bit about Kenya and uh, make an application that uh, helps our young people understand uh, what it means to walk with God. Kenya is... Uh, a country and a culture that uh, we do not have uh, all of the cars and the transportation that we have in America. And so many people, uh, if they want to go somewhere, they go, they travel by walking. Uh, In fact, the vast majority of our people that attend our churches walk to church. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day I was thinking about that and realized that there is, that our walk in physical life is an illustration of how we ought to walk with the Lord. And as I was talking with some young people one day, I asked them, did you walk to church this morning? To which they replied, yes. Then I asked, how many of you walked together to come to church? And several of them indicated that they had paired up in a group uh, to walk to church and another group had come to church and they liked to walk together. But then I started thinking, what does it take to walk to church together? You don't start at one side of town walking to church and a person on the other side of town starts walking to church to meet in the middle. In order to walk together, there must be a meeting place. 
And if you're going to walk together, somebody has to lead. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where people, several people in the group wanted to do different things as you were walking together? And uh, the group doesn't stay together very long when there, are, when there are more than one leader. And so it is with a Christian life. When we walk with Jesus, if we are going to walk with Jesus, we must have a time that we meet with Him. And uh, we meet with God. I trust you can meet with God in the morning when you have time to read your Bible and pray. A lot of people ask, what is the purpose of our daily devotional time? Many people look at it as simply a duty to say, I have done a task for God today. But it's much more than that. It is a time of meeting with God. But it doesn't end with that when we finish reading our Bibles and prayer. Because God wants to walk with us through the day. So that devotional time in the morning is the meeting time with God so that we can walk with Him throughout the day. Now, in order to continue walking with God, just as a group of people have to follow the leader as they walk together, we as Christians, if we're going to walk with God, must follow Jesus Christ and do what He wants us to do as we walk through our day. Jesus will not follow us. He demands that we follow Him. And as I shared that lesson with the young people in our church here in Nairobi, it made sense. They understood in a practical way what it means to walk with God and why our devotional life and meeting with God is so important. And I trust that as you hear me speak today, that it will make sense to you as well. And my burden, my goal is that you will learn to meet with God and walk with Him throughout your day. Well, thank you, Brother Halstead. That is a wonderful challenge. And certainly being here at the Independent Baptist College of Ministry, I know the emphasis that you've had with your own students is spending that time with God. They have a wonderful journal and encouraging them to spend extended time, even up to an hour, uh, spending time praying and meeting with God. And the key in meeting with God is really the presence of God, as, as he's mentioned, walking with God in a very real way. God's doing something here and these Kenyan students, and He wants to do something in your heart. I'm so glad you tuned in today to the The Generation podcast, and I hope as we sign off that your heart will be stirred to walk with God. And remember our battle cry, it is total surrender to the will of God and a total dependence on His strength to live it. And that total surrender and total dependence is nurtured and encouraged when you spend time with God. I hope in early 2018, young person, you will make a decision. I'm going to spend time with God, and I'm going to learn how to walk with God. I hope you're encouraged with this podcast from the, the country of Kenya, where God is working in hearts, and may He work in your heart as well. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the The Generation Podcast. For more faith-inspiring resources and information about joining The Generation, please visit thegeneration.org. That's T-H-E-E generation.org.